latest report from the 2021 Bourbon Economic Impact Study shows a $9 billion impact on the Kentucky Commonwealth. That industry employs more than 22,000 people. Officials say despite challenges, what's known as the Sonoma of the South is planning to keep the price tag on their bottles stable. Michael Burke has the story. Just like almost every walk of life, Kentucky's thriving bourbon industry has had to tackle some tough economic challenges in recent months and years. If you are looking for a bottle of bourbon that comes in a unique or an out of the ordinary uh, glass, chances are you're not going to find it or it's going to be a few months to find it just because we can't get the glass due to supply chain issues. And then there's the issue of where to age all of that bourbon. We make our uh, barrels out of wood and steel and until recently steel was really kind of supply constrained and we just fought hard and tried to stay ahead of it. One thing we're trying to do to help support our distillery partners. Brad came to Lexington from Missouri. Hundreds more gathering on the UK campus this week for the three-day Jim Beam Institute Bourbon Conference where industry experts will focus on all things bourbon from the agriculture behind it to the final bottling process. And Governor Andy Bashir opened the conference this morning. Why does this industry continue to grow at such a remarkable rate in this Commonwealth? There are several factors he mentioned, including the right climate and grains and people, as oftentimes distilleries and the process are generational within families. One of today's speakers even said the bourbon trail is becoming more and more like California's Napa Valley wine country. One person called us the Sonoma of the South, which we take as a great compliment. Where you see natural beauty, you see history, you see this, this culture of Kentucky for, you know, firsthand. And you see one aspect of the industry that is somewhat immune to current issues. It's why your bourbon prices haven't moved much lately. Today's bourbon that's been bottled was barreled, first barreled, you know, 6, 8, 10, 12 years ago. So it's not going to see the, the supply chain effect as far as pricing concerned. And with more than 10 million barrels aging as we speak, it might not even be an issue down the road.